In this video, we'll dive into the immense power of tsunamis, triggered by natural events such as underwater earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Learn what it takes for these colossal waves to form and the consequences they bring. The Pacific Ocean, often referred to as the Ring of Fire, is a hotspot for tsunamis. About 80% of tsunamis occur in the Pacific Ocean. Join us as we uncover why major countries like Japan, the USA, and Hawaii are particularly vulnerable, while landlocked nations remain untouched. An earthquake of 7.5 magnitudes or more can help a tsunami to occur. Ise Bay, Japan, January 18, 1586. A tsunami occurred in Ise Bay, Japan, on January 18, 1586, at 23 a local time. While the tsunami was measured in Lake Biwa, Wakasa Bay, and Ise Bay, there is some debate about whether these were sechis since the fracture did not extend deep. The tsunami in Ise Bay had a measured height of 3 meters, and in Wakasa Bay, it was measured to be 4 or 5 meters. Reports initially suggested around 8,000 fatalities in East Bay due to the tsunami. However, the reliability of these figures is now questioned, with some deaths attributed to drowning. Ryukyu Islands Tsunami The Ryukyu Islands Tsunami was triggered by the Yayama Great Earthquake, which occurred on April 24, 1771, at 8 a.m., south-southeast of Ishigaki Island, which was part of the former Ryukyu Kingdom and is now part of present-day Okinawa, Japan. Data indicates that 8439 people lost their lives on Ishigaki Island and 2548 on Miyako Island. The combined count of dead and missing individuals was estimated at 12,000, and more than 2,000 houses were damaged on Ishigaki and Miyakojima. Northern Chile Tsunami The Northern Chile Tsunami was associated with the 1868 Arica earthquake, which occurred on August 13, 1868, near Arica. This area was part of Peru at the time, but is now in Chile. The earthquake took place at 2130 UTC. The tsunami produced by this earthquake was observed across the Pacific. While the majority of the damage was localized along the coasts of southern Peru and what is now the northernmost part of Chile, the tsunami reached as far as Arica. The first wave was observed 52 minutes after the earthquake, with a height of 12 meters, 39 feet. The largest wave, measuring 16 meters, 52 feet, arrived 73 minutes after the earthquake. San Riku Tsunami On the evening of June 15, 1896, a catastrophic tsunami struck the Sanriku coast in northern Japan. The day began with local communities enjoying a Shinto holiday and the return of soldiers from the First Sino-Japanese War. Despite some minor tremors earlier in the day, there was little cause for concern. However, 35 minutes after the initial tremors, the first tsunami wave hit the coast, followed by another just minutes later. The devastation was amplified by the high tides, causing significant loss of life in Iwate and Miyagi, with fatalities also reported in Oomori and Hokkaido. Nankaido Tsunami The Nankaido Tsunami was the result of an earthquake with a magnitude of 8.4. The tsunami waves, reaching as high as 25 meters, struck the Pacific coasts of Kyushu, Shikoku, and Honshu. The city of Osaka was also severely impacted. The disaster led to the destruction of nearly 30,000 buildings in the affected areas, with approximately 30,000 lives lost. Reports indicated that about a dozen large waves were observed between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m., some of which traveled several kilometers inland at Kochi, in Shunada Sea, Japan. On September 20, 1498, a powerful earthquake with a magnitude of 8.3 occurred in the Enshunada Sea, Japan. This earthquake resulted in devastating tsunami waves along the coasts of Kii, Mikawa, Surugu, Izu, and Sagami. These tsunami waves were powerful enough to break a spit, which had previously separated Lake Hamana from the sea. The disaster caused extensive flooding, resulting in a tragic loss of at least 31,000 lives. Krakatau Tsunami On August 26, 1883, one of the most destructive volcanic tsunamis in the last 250 years occurred as a result of the eruption of the Krakatoa volcano. This highly energetic explosive eruption generated multiple tsunami waves, some of which reached heights as great as 37 meters. These waves are among the largest ever observed in the recent historic period. The disaster led to injuries to around 36,000 people and claimed the lives of 36,417 individuals. Lisbon Tsunami the Lisbon tsunami was triggered by an earthquake with a magnitude of 8.5 on November 1, 1755. The earthquake caused a sequence of three large waves that struck various towns along the west coast of Portugal and southern Spain, some of them reaching heights of up to 30 meters. 
Remarkably, the tsunami waves even traveled as far as Carlisle Bay, Barbados, with waves rising by 1.5 meters there. The combined earthquake and tsunami event resulted in the loss of around 50,000 lives in Portugal, Morocco, and Spain. North Pacific Coast Tsunami On March 11, 2011, a major tsunami occurred along the North Pacific coast of Japan. An upthrust of 20 to 26 feet across a 180-kilometer wide seabed at a depth of 60 kilometers resulted in a devastating tsunami that caused widespread damage to Japan's northern islands. Thousands of lives were lost and entire towns were destroyed. The tsunami also propagated across the Pacific Ocean, affecting the Pacific coastline of North and South America, from Alaska to Chile. Despite the vast reach of this tsunami, the wave heights were relatively small. For example, Chile's Pacific coast, which is about 17,000 kilometers away from Japan, experienced waves of 2 meters in height, while a measured wave height of 38.9 meters was observed at Omoe Peninsula, Miyako City, Japan. Sumatra Tsunami On December 26, 2004, a massive tsunami was generated by a powerful 9.1 magnitude earthquake off the coast of Sumatra. This earthquake occurred at a depth of 30 kilometers and was associated with a fault zone roughly 1,300 kilometers long. It caused vertical displacement of the seafloor by several meters. The resulting tsunami reached staggering heights, with waves as tall as 50 meters observed, reaching 5 kilometers inland near Mubola, Sumatra. This tsunami is widely recorded, with almost 1,000 combined tide gauges and eyewitness measurements from around the world reporting increased wave heights, including locations in the U.S., the U.K., and Antarctica. The disaster caused an estimated U.S. $10 billion in damages and led to the loss of around 230,000 lives.